Hey, we are here with pop culture legend, Mr. Rob Zombie. I have a new record coming out August 7th, which is a remix record. But meanwhile, I've also been in the studio for the last month or so making a new you know, album, new material. That'll be out. I don't know exactly. We're not done yet. It'll be out when we're done, so probably next year. Really, when I, when I do the remix records, we just farm out the songs to a whole bunch of people and let them run wild. I don't try to keep control of it because I want to see what they do. That's what's fun for me. Jonathan from Korn did one for Thunderkiss that was really cool, which was, that one was more of a traditional song structure of the song, but he added all this extra beats and grooves that are really, that was kind of cool to hear, especially when it's, you know, the song's like 20 years old, so to have somebody kind of revamp it and make it fresh again is fun. And this audience is basically the audience for everything that I've been doing over the years. I mean, that's why it's cool. I mean, everybody, it's very rare that you'll get this many people in one place. I mean, the only other places that are kind of like this is some of the festivals in Europe will gather this many people together. But to have 100,000 or more people that are into, you know, comics and movies and music and everything all in one place, it, you know, it's just cool. And sort of this pop culture clash of everything that I like. Lords of Salem is another project of yours that people are looking forward to. Uh, can you drop any hints as to what, you know, the film involves and, you know, how it might differ from some of your other films? Yeah, I mean, actually, we're going to show the trailer for that tonight, which most people haven't seen. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm, I was just looking at it today because we're just, we were just starting the sound mix and the sound design and, and finishing all that stuff up. It's a really different movie because the last couple movies I've made have been these sort of very sort of handheld, rough, very physically violent films. And this isn't like that at all. This is a very like sort of slow paced, psychological, specifically composed type of movie. It's almost the exact opposite of what I've done before. So it's not what they expect it to be, I don't think. It starts in 1697 in Salem, Massachusetts, and the basic idea is that back then, you know, when the witch trials were going on, and obviously they were innocent people being, you know, killed as witches, that there was a group that were not so innocent, that were murdered and put to death before they died, put a curse on Salem, which is now coming true in modern times. I mean, most of the movie takes place in modern day Salem. The next door is with Marilyn Manson. Yeah, Manson. What can you tell us about that? Each of you with your own followings and, you know, is there kind of a, a cool creative tension that results from that? I'm sure there will be. Probably not unlike when I did the tour with Alice Cooper. You know, you, what I like about these tours is it's it's a co-headlining tour, so both acts do the full set. Nobody has to sacrifice anything. And, you know, I know with Alice, I mean, we're good friends, and it was the, one of the funnest tours I ever did. But, you know, of course, it's going to be this fun rivalry because nobody wants someone else to upstage them. So that's fun. So I assume it'll be more of the same of that, you know. It's funny because it's, it's one of those tours that's so obvious that it seems like we would have done it before, but we haven't. I'm kind of glad we haven't because it still leaves exciting things to do. So, And I'm in the early stages of working on Broad Street Bullies, which will be my next, possibly my next movie after Lords of Salem. But that one's different since it's based on true life events. It's just, it's just so much research. I mean, by the time this movie is over, I'll be an expert on the Philadelphia Flyers. So for people that think like, oh, I don't care about sports movies, this is not a sport. It's like, you know, it's a, such a crazy story. I think anyone would, would totally dig it. Fearnet's coverage of Comic Con 2012, presented by Resident Evil 6, in stores on October 2nd for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Pre order now. Rated M for Mature.